Hello everyone, my name is Ferris and today I will be talking about our Hackalytics 2024 hackathon project called City Transportation Connect. Now, when you want to build a new high-speed rail system between two cities, you naturally want to pick the two cities which will give the most social benefit. Now, how do you determine this? Well, we have created a solution that can help to guide you to finding that answer. So over here, we we allow you the option to put an origin city as well as putting how important the two factors that we have in our database to help you with that decision so number one how important the number of people connected is as in uh, how how much is the sum of population between those two metropolitan areas if connected and the distances between those two metropolitan areas so naturally we can see that as the number of people connected gets higher as in as more uh, as the sum population between those two cities get higher the probability of that route goes higher and the opposite goes for the distance longer distances means more cost to add that new route and therefore less probability of getting to be on the top five list of most viable connections to the city so over here we can see as an example the city of Atlanta with these two uh, factor coefficients we can see the American cities of New York City, Chicago, Macon, Chattanooga which is a city in, in Georgia and Dallas and we can see that these cities are, uh, are viable candidates for the city of Atlanta given that we want more emphasis on shorter distances. Now if we were to let the distance come down back to the default of 1.0, we can see that two Asian cities, Shenzhen and Beijing comes to the list and this is because they both are very big economic centers and uh, that comes with that comes thanks to its huge population numbers and therefore it goes very high on top of this list so as we can see on this interactive map over here the connection is very strong between new york and atlanta and we can maybe propose a new high-speed rail uh, connection between those two cities in order to better facilitate uh, that connection now the second model that we have is the overall model. So instead of having you to put in the source origin city, we instead will calculate the best five city pairs of every possible city pair across the globe. So come using the two factor inputs that you put over here, we will calculate um, using our formula based on the normalized value of the sum of populations and the distances between those two uh, cities and give you this map. So as you can see over here, the Asian cities of Shenzhen, Beijing, Tokyo are very well connected to each other and that's because of their proximity as well as huge population numbers. So naturally, the, these Asian cities will come very high on top of this list. But say for example, if I don't care too much about how Im important the number of people connected is, so I can adjust the factor coefficient to 0.4 and we can see the the geographic areas are about the same with a few changes uh, notably Shenzhen and Shantou is added to this list and of course you can always adjust the parameters uh, to to play around and see what suits your needs the most And that's all. Thank you. This technology was created using Streamlit, Pandas, and NumPy, and oh, we are the creators of this project. Me, Ferris, Nicholas, Haruto, and Matthias. Thank you.